Well, here we are then. Um, up in Highlands now. Wow, what a trip. Very long day, but well worth it. Let me uh, let me show you what we got. So, surrounded by woodland. We got mountains in front of us, in front of these trees. It's the main house there. It's the owner lives. That's where we're staying down there. The tennis court, and that behind is um, an old railway line. And about 15, 20 minutes walk down into the village of Killing, which is that way. That's where it is. Looking fantastic, right? Absolutely stunning. Um, he said as well, the red squirrels, he said, you don't need a big lens. He said, they come right up to you, the red squirrels here. I can't wait. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to take pictures and film as I go, as a bit of a guide, the story is we're up here. The whole point is, whenever you're going on holiday and you're a wildlife photographer or a nature photographer or something, take the camera, take your phone, take whatever you can and grab the opportunities. And that's what I'm going to be doing this week. I'm going to take you along for the journey and just see what we have. It's, it's going to be beautiful, right? So I'm just going to walk you down. There we go. Up into the hills there. There's swallows and house martins all over the place, feeding off the flies and midges. All right, I'll see you soon. Alrighty, so um, we've got the remnants of Storm Betty. Yeah, I know, right. I'll home to the impression. <laughs> Those of you old enough to know. Um, and it is a pretty wet day, so what we're going to do, we're going to please the, the boy, my son, my 12 year old. Uh, we're going to go down to Loch Lomond, uh, visit the aquarium today. That's what we're going to do uh, this afternoon. We've got an any time entry, you can enter any time. And then we're going to do a bit of a recce after that, sort of. Maybe the visitor centre at Aberfoyle on the way back up and just sort of, sort of do a recce, plan things for the rest of the week. Um, have a look. How beautiful is that? I might want to go and sit about in there. And this is where red squirrels apparently. I should be able to see them. Not in this weather though, they'll be hunkering up somewhere. But yeah. So that's the plan. Uh
been up and down so far. Um, I haven't managed to do as much photography or filming as I wanted to. Why? Because on Sunday I got food poisoning. Oh my God. I was really ill on Sunday night. And on Monday, I didn't, you know, they, my wife took my son down into Stirling, into the lowlands for to play temping bowling because I was so ill. We couldn't do anything. Um, we'd already pre-booked to go to... Um, Schoon Palace uh, over in Perth yesterday, so that's where we went. Uh, today, though, we're going red kite feeding. Um, why am I doing this? Because uh, it's a good introduction for my son to see these birds up close. My wife likes it too, and hopefully I should get some footage and some photography done as well. So it's Agati, um, or Ar Argati, um, red kite centre. Um, it's down near um, Calendar, sort of a bit, a bit further south in the highlands um we're gonna go up into the highlands a little bit more tomorrow hopefully weather permitting because my son wants to do something up there um red squirrel wise though not much around here so far so let's see what we got So there's the two hides. We're not going in for our photography hide today because I'm with the family. I've got my face up there. Must get fitter. Been advised near the door. Fingers crossed. I won't speak until we come out. Well, there we go. Um, if you're seeing some pictures of red kites and I was successful. Um, I do get to see them a lot where I live. I'm quite lucky, but I never get to see them feed. Um, but for me today, the star of the show was that like yellow hammer. Stunning little bird, right? What a beautiful little sighting that was. Two of them in the end. Um, a little bit here, what they do then. You might be in some red kite places where they feed them out the, the back of a tractor with masses of chicken and they have one small bucket here, like a little bucket, handheld bucket. Um, and today it was just a few handfuls of pheasant. So the project, it's just like, this, this afternoon's was just like an afternoon snack for them really. So they don't overfeed it. Um, I well recommend coming up here they have woodland hide for red squirrels. Um, they have beavers too. Um, a beaver project going on as well as the red kites. Uh, it's a beautiful little place.
Well, would you Adam and Eve it, right? Right on the last day, video footage, <laughs> pictures. They've got a really good population here. You know, I was just watching five red squirrels and the whole area is, is full of them. You know, wherever you drive, you see little signs, beware red squirrel, beware red squirrel. It's just great. Um, but if you want, kudos to a kudos is due. If it wasn't for my little boy, having a little recce, right around the other side of the site here. And he discovered this little feeder. Um, I've seen uh, nut hatches this far north. Did they come this far north? The book I got says not really, but yeah, I got video and a couple of pictures. Um, is that global warming? Warming? Who knows? Um, and more chaffinches, and you can shake a stick at, and they're vibrant too. They're the borderline bullfinches. You know what I mean? All they need to be is a little deeper red and a black ahead and there you go so there you go guys uh we're off home today so if you like the video please like subscribe um and hit the dingly bell and hit a little wren just just there oh god i won't be able to get it with a uh, vlogging thing so never mind i'll see you all very soon bye, -bye.